I got the results from my Ancestry DNA. Hey guys, Anna here. That was the that was a goose, like squawking outside. One lone goose. Interesting. That's an interesting way to start the vlog. Hello. Wow. I remembered that a couple days ago I got the result from my um ancestry dna like kit results so now i know like where i came from which isn't super surprising but anyway i wanted to share them with you guys if you haven't um ever heard of that or you haven't gotten your dna results uh it's super cool and i'm definitely wanting more of my family members to do it because it'd be really cool to have one of my parents do it um, and then another sibling to see how close we are because I know with the DNA it can be um, different even as you um, even if you're like siblings because you you have you know your two parents and they both have all this DNA and where they came from and their you know Europe or you know South America or whatever ancestry.com is just this huge amazing just wealth of information you can build family trees you can see you, you, you can find everything on there they are the most repu reputable 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 site of information that you can find for your ancestry and reputable and most reliable and fine-tuned for DNA as well. So if you want to know your DNA and where you came from, do Ancestry.com, but wait till they have a sale. Don't pay the 99 bucks. Wait till they have a sale because they do have sales pretty frequently. I got mine on sale. I did not pay $99. I am not that rich. Holy smokes. So, here is my ethnicity. Are you ready? <laughs> well, it's really surprising. There's a couple things that are kind of cool, but most of it's like, uh-huh, yeah. So, um, I am 51% um, English, Scottish, and Welsh. So, that's um, Northwestern Europe. Is anyone surprised? And then I'm 31% Irish and Scottish. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I am very, we are very English. My family, us kids, we have a lot of Scottish and British and Irish in us. We just do. From a couple different sides of the family, some of them. Um, but I also have some Germanic Europe which they say, um, they give a little map, but it's mostly Germany. And that comes from my dad's side of the family. It also um, includes, I think, a little bit of Switzerland, this little circle here. Um, and I do know that I have like way, 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 way far back in my dad's lineage, there were, there was, um, a great great whatever grandmother and grandfather who were Swiss 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 and came over as immigrants that is so cool anyhow and then the really cool part is I am 4% Swedish that is so cool it's like so random and I'm like where did that come from um my dad I really want him to do it because he has a little I think a little much more variety of um like European in him like yes we're very European but much more 
<laughs> much more than um, I'm like uh, 82%, you know, Irish, Scottish, English, Welsh. <laughs> so it's not that interesting, but it's really cool to see the percentages and then like the Germanic Europe and then the Swedish because 4% Swedish is like pretty cool. That's pretty significant. So anyway, um, and then they're like, oh, it migrated. Here I'll we'll show you. And I'm like, yeah, New York. <laughs> there wasn't any Irish in New York. Anyhow, it is really cool to see your heritage and to see like your DNA and it's super fun. Also, I am sitting here like literally in so much pain because this is probably for my EDS, but mm, I bent over slightly, slightly just before I went on to talk to you guys, slightly, and I just pulled something in my lower back and I cannot get it right and I probably just like misaligned something and Oh, Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, I do not like you. You guys need to know more about that. I will make a video about that. Sound good? That sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I'm like propping myself up on my hands. I'm like, oh, I can't even put weight on it. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. Um, As you can tell, I'm much more alive and like animated and everything than I was um, yesterday, I did have a horrendous headache when I woke up this morning. Um, it dissipated a little. It's still lingering. It's still bad. Um, but I took just a very short nap and then I was, I was doing some things. I don't even know what. I've been getting a short reprieve kind of in the late afternoon, I think, every day pretty much, so I've been taking advantage of that, and holy mackerel, this hurts. So, anyway, I need to like figure out how to position myself in order to not have pain. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Hello, people of the world. I am back. It has been a while. <laughs> it's very strange for me. It's like, you see me right away, but for me, it's been like seven hours or something. Anyway, my back is, well, I thought it was better, and then I, then I tried to move. But um, my head has been better today. So happy. We'll see how it is in the morning, but right now, it's something that is been able to be put further back in my mind and the back pain has come to the front of my mind so we've traded one for the other but I'll take it a headache a debilitating headache like that is just <sighs> plus I've just been having so much um, like body pain starting in I think it's the weather change, the seasonal change really does affect me. Um, anyway, I am finishing up this ringer right here. I'm just hydrating myself because I know I'm dehydrated. So I'm doing that and then I gotta nebulize and do the whole shebang, flush my feeding tube, hook it up to my IV pole for the night, all that. As I talk to you guys, I sometimes think of, oh, I'm going to do a video on that for them. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Oh, my back. Life is always keeping you on your toes over here. Yeah. Anyway. Good night to you all. I will see you super soon. Bye.